The showdown is not meant to cause offense or harm. The viewer acknowledges any reliance on the accuracy or completeness of said content should be done at their own discretion. The host apologizes in advance for any affront as a result of personal attacks. All right, the showdown with Rob Parker. The gloves come off. How are you, Rob? I'm doing great, BK. How are you today? Notice how I'm sticking and moving already. I'm not giving you a, a standing target. I'm going to move around. Not going to move my head. Not going to stand there, wait for a receipt. All right, Rob, Phillies. What do you make of what happened to the Phillies? It's a choke job, BK. Oh. I'm sorry. I know you want I'm not. I'm not trying to poo-poo what the Diamondbacks did. I give them <laughs> you credit. You always say that. They, and no. yet I am going to right now. You can't use the, the choke word, really. I mean, that's like, uh, yeah, yes. uh, so you win some, you lose some, right? They're at the highest level. That, that is, to be honest, that's unfair. I mean, they didn't choke. They got no. tight down the stretch because they were losing. They got anxious, but they didn't choke. They choke when they won 10 to nothing in game two. People were like, oh, this is going to be a, a whitewash. True. There's nothing happening True. here. True. Uh, I'm not going to pay attention to this series. And then to, to play as well, they choked down that game, uh, game four, game five, right? The one that they were w winning. That was the big turnaround of the series. And then here's the choke. The, the, the big hitters on this team go three for 36 in the last two games at home. That's a choke job. Those guys are way too good to go down three for 36 when it mattered most. It's damning evidence that you throw my way there. But I have problems with a choke. You go hot, you go cold. But they were very hot to very cold very quickly. So tough to argue that. All right, Rob, five versus six seed here. We're the six on each side in each league. It's a five versus a six postseason structure. Do you have a problem with that or do you like that? I mean, if this is the, the idea, I know people would love to see some other teams, the bigger markets that got knocked out, the teams that won 100 games and all that. But these two teams have earned their way there. Unbelievable wins on the road. I'm impressed by both of these teams. And they've earned their way. I'm going to enjoy this World Series. I'm not going to poo-poo it. Let the other teams play better. You know, let the Dodgers play better uh, against the Diamondbacks that they owned most of the year. They didn't play better when it mattered most. So you know what, I'm, the, I'm the, not going to the, shake my head. The one team that again, it bothered me last year when Dodgers 111 wins and then Braves and Mets all went down first shot. This time around, it was really the Braves. There was no superpower in the American League. Maybe the Astros, you figured, were better. Uh, but the Rays weren't that team. The Orioles aren't there yet. It's really that the Braves didn't make it, isn't it? And, but that does bother me, where I'm invested for six months. This is one of the best offenses of all time. And then they're gone, and we've moved on. That bothers me a little bit. No, I get that. I mean, everybody, I had the Braves. I had the Braves and Rangers when the playoffs started. I thought those would be the two teams. I did pick the Rangers. You know I've been talking about them all year. You have been, BK, yeah, give true. me some credit. That's true. As uh, Charlie Hayes would say. But, um, yeah, I, I was all in on the Rangers. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to being at the World Series. I'll be at games one and two uh, in Arlington. So I'm excited for it. Excellent. I will see you out there. Do you miss the Astros and Dodgers in the World Series? I don't know. It's been out of seven years or something. Where, where the, those teams are not yet. Back to 2017. It's either been the Astros or the Dodgers in the series. Are you going to miss them? I don't miss the Astros at all. Good riddance. Enough <laughs> with the Astros. I'm glad. I want to see some other teams. I, maybe the Dodgers, okay, but the Astros, no. I'm glad. I'm glad that they're out. I'm glad the Rangers dispatched them. I know most people gave up on the Rangers when they blew game five at home, lost three straight, went on the road, and they demolished the Astros, scoring, what, 20 runs in the last two games against them? That was impressive. It's all like it's, it's razor close, all of it. But yeah, the Rangers. I'm glad they got off to that commanding lead. I think it, it's going to be an excellent series. I know you're big on God. Give it to me. All, you, you, and all the broadcasters that do these games. It's old school managers ignoring the analytics and these new school kids with their spreadsheets. Go ahead, give it to me. Go ahead. Come on, Bruce Bochy. Look at what this guy's done. They went and got this guy out of retirement. This guy doesn't know uh, the, the spreadsheet from uh, from a uh, 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 rosin bag. I mean, come on, he's not into all that. I mean, he'll take a look at some numbers, but you got to have a feel. This guy, Bruce Bochy, I'm picking him every day, uh, every day, every month over Joe Torre. Three different teams to the World Series, 
And look at what he did in, in, in getting to the Rangers in one year. Okay. I got to give yep. old dog yep. credit. By the way, he to. was, by the way, uh, Bruce Bochy also, 10 years ago, was an innovator in his bullpen usage. He was kind of like La Russa in that, like, no, man, let's attack. Let's use bullpen more than the starting pitchers. He was taking guys out in World Series, first, second inning. Starters and guys were like, you can't take out your starter. Bochy did that. So he's innovative. He is, uh, it, you know, old school, new school. He's thinking. And by the way, Tori Lovello is pretty new school. Diamondbacks are one of these new school analytic organizations. I hate to tell you. Well, I'll wait to see. When Tori Lovello and them win the World Series, you call me up and let me know. So he's got to win the, the World Tampa Series. Bay he's got to win the World Series yeah, before it counts. Tam- yeah, Tampa Bay's been in the World Series twice in the last eight years. And that's they don't not have good a enough. championship. And that's not good enough. All right, so if the, no, if, if, if the Diamondbacks win, will you retire like Mad Dog? <laughs> No, I'm not doing that. That dog can give it up. He has all that money banked away. I don't have that kind of money. You're, you're a working man, like like a sergeant in the army. Don't, don't call me sir. I'm a working man. Good job, Rob. You see where I'm at right now. I'm at USC teaching. You're working. At, can they get you like a? I don't know. Get, they stuck you in the corner. Come on, they, they've got to do better than that. Rob, you're the best. Rob, I'll we say. Have, you know what? We what? have a live. A live sports show going on right now in the studio. If not, I would have been in there. Okay. No, I get it. Normally, you know, you're in a nice spot. Good. We'll see you at the World Series, Rob. Appreciate it. Good stuff. Always, BK. Can't wait. I'll see you down in Arlington. All right. Rob Parker there.